Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, with your favorite niche real estate website, thelandgeek.com. And we have almost all the usual suspects today. We have Tria putting in the reps, Harris. Tria, how are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm good. Is it is it ever intimidating for you having to be with all these Y chromosomes? No, I actually have four Y chromosomes. So that, I'm used to it. You're used to it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you have no no issues with it. We've got Landon, the aquatic investor, AI Harris. Landon, how are you? Doing well, Mark. How are you? Landon, do you ever get intimidated that you're going to say the wrong thing in front of Tria? Where there's All like the time. <laughs> is this it's is this, an everyday thing? Is this high stress for you? Like, okay, <laughs> you have no idea what's going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a funny question. <laughs> it's so true though. It's true. <laughs> I, I, I get it. I get it. The technician, Eric Peterson. Eric, how are you? I'm good. Good to see you, Mark. Good to see you. Do you ever feel like I don't even have a good question for you? I just thought I'd go with that theme. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, I'm being a little different today. I'm sitting rather than standing, if you didn't notice. I did. Yeah. I did notice. And what, why is that? I just didn't feel like standing for this call today. I don't know. I always stand, but today I had to be different. Maybe it, there's a theme. We'll get it, to that. Yeah, maybe there is a theme. <laughs> I, hope, I hope the energy level doesn't change for you, though. Because <laughs> I, I have more energy when I'm like walking and talking or standing. But now that I've gotten to a point where uh, I'm so old, I just, you know, it tires me out to stand. Do but anyway, we really just spend like three minutes talking about sitting or standing. We're going to lose our audience, guys. We gotta move this. Our, our audience loves <laughs> this. This is not good. This is, we might need to restart this intro. <laughs> Anyways, was- I love it when you call me Big Papa, Tate Litchio. By the way, Tate, I, how are you, number one? But number two, how many people do you really think don't fast forward just this intro and get right into the meat of it? Well, now that they know I'm sitting, I think people are going to be a lot more at ease, right? Like I am sitting for this podcast. Thank you. You know, uh, my energy is still good. Um, I don't know how many people fast, fast forward through it. It's just, I guess it just depends if they are stuck in traffic or not. If they're stuck in traffic, they're listening. If they're That's not, right. they're skipping. There's, there's, there, we should do like a Facebook poll. How many of you actually listened to the beginning? So I might as well just get our sponsor out of the way. Today's podcast is sponsored by Flight School. Learn how the next 16 weeks can literally transform your life because you start building that passive income without any headaches, no renters, no rehabs, no renovations, no roads. Let Scott Todd be your Sherpa who said it thousands of times. And by the way, I know what you're thinking. What about the investment? It ain't going to cost you nothing. Guaranteed you're going to make it back in 180 days or less. Just show us your work. Learn more. Go to landgeek.com forward slash training. Thelandgeek.com forward slash training. So, Big Papa, what is our topic today? What is the theme, if you will? Well, we are now officially in the dog days of summer. And uh, a question and a topic that I get asked all the time is, what are you reading, Kate? What are you reading right now? What what books are you into? Um, what should we be doing to continue our education? So I thought, you know, this is the perfect place to put together our Land Geek summer reading list. And so we uh, have been chatting amongst ourselves and everybody was supposed to come to this podcast, <coughs> Mark, with a book that they have found helpful or you know, enjoyable that's helped their businesses grow over the last little bit. It doesn't have to be a new book necessarily, but just what are you guys reading? So that's the topic, our Land Geek summer reading list. I mean, Dirt Rich 2 is coming out soon, but oh, I don't want, I I, but I, I can don't, can I read it? You can't read can it. I read I it today? I don't oh. want to shamelessly plug the, the, the plot thickens, uh, how to, you know, get out of your own land business. But why don't we start with Landon A.I. Harris. Landon, what is on your summer reading list? 
Well, it's funny that you started with me because the book that I am going to introduce is called Start. Um, it's a book by John Acuff. Um, so I actually started reading this book about six weeks ago. And it's actually, uh, it's, it's a, I think it's a pretty simple read, but it's really good um, about helping people kind of dive into kind of, you know, how do you switch your life into kind of what he calls being just average into being awesome. So he goes into like five strategies. Um, first one is learning. The next one is editing. Uh, the third one is mastering, which I like. Harvesting is the next one. And then uh, the last one is guiding. So he goes into these five different steps of kind of outlining just how you move your life forward. And like I said, it's kind of a quick read. Um, it's really highly motivating, very inspiring. And like, I recommend this book to anybody, but I'll be honest, like one of the things I thought about as I was reading this book, this is great for somebody who is beginning the land business and they're just beginning their journey. Um, it's a good compliment to maybe, you know, um, dirt rich or, uh, so like, I think I do feel like this was really good for like, if you're, you're thinking about getting into land investing and just starting this journey, it's a really good book. Um, kind of has a theme, a writing theme of, uh, kind of like John McCallow or Mike McCallowitz. So, oh, very that's my cool. book. I'm, I'm a big Mike McCallowitz fan. Yeah. He has some so, good books. So speaking of Mike McCallowitz, uh, Eric, the Technician Peterson. What what book are you recommending on your summer reading list? Yeah, so I too, like Mike McCallowitz, I think that uh, I listen to a lot of my books on Audible and he typically reads his own books and I don't know, he's just enjoyable to listen to. He's got a good sense of humor. He's, he makes the book, you know, interesting. So um the book I'm going to recommend is Get Different, uh, again, by Mike Michalowicz, um, Marketing That Can't Be Ignored. So Get Different kind of harkens back to the Apple marketing strategy for a while there called Think Different, right? Um, and that's that's essentially what the book is about, is, is you know taking a different approach to marketing. What is everybody else doing and how can you stand out against what everyone else is doing, Okay. And it, it kind of walks you through um, what well, the book calls it a, a framework, um, but you know some some very similar things to we that we talk about in in the land community. Uh, the idea of identifying your avatars, right? Like who is your customer? What do they look like? And what what customers do you want more of? Right? Which ones are the ideal ones that you would love to have? you know, not one, but a hundred of, because they're just great customers all around. Right. So it talks about identifying them and then, um, you know, setting, coming up with some different strategies to, to market to that type of person and setting some goals around maybe a, a specific strategy to test out, um, measure the results of that strategy and, you know, continue from there. Right. We're going to refine and, and so on down the line talks about, you know, having a very simple directive in whatever marketing you're doing that, you know, when we kind of overthink things and, and get too complicated, uh, it makes it challenging for our marketing to be a success. So, um, you know, I, I think there's some key things in there about, you know, looking at the metrics, identifying your audience, uh, trying different things, but, but not just doing it on a whim, just measuring it, thinking it through and, and keeping track of it. Yeah. I, I love that. And you know, the, the funny thing about marketing is everything is a test, right? No one knows. And uh, I'll just quickly ask you guys real quickly, Taria, did you see the air vision pro demo by Apple? Landon oh. sent it to me. I forgot to watch it. <laughs> Landon, did you, did you watch that demo? I watched, yeah, I watched a little bit of it. Um, yeah. So, because I, I was, I was between that and the goggles and it was all of that. And I was all over it. Yeah, Eric, how about you? I didn't watch it, but um, I did see some reviews on YouTube about it later. Okay. Tate, did you watch it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I watched it. 
<laughs> okay, so so whether or not you're a, a fan of the you know the product is irrelevant. What I liked is how Apple did their marketing, and we're building up the interest in the actual product. I mean, it's just a masterclass on marketing. It, it really is, and this is not an inexpensive gadget by any stretch of the imagination. But they're showing the world, this is how you do VR the right way. And they're showing us as land investors, this is how you market something the right way. And the way that they show the benefits, they tell the story, you get emotionally involved with it. It's just, it's worth watching again and again. But uh, to your point, Eric, Mike McAllitz, I can't believe I didn't, I haven't read this book. I, I He's been on the podcast a few times and uh, he's great. And his audiobooks are amazing. So uh, thank you for that. I think he has a new book coming out. I don't know if it's next year or later this year. Um, it might be called All In, possibly. So we should keep an eye out for it. Yeah, I mean, we should get John Acuff, Mike Michalowicz on the podcast together. Talk about start. Talk about, is it? it's called Get Different? Yes. Get different. Yeah. And then Taria's summer reading list book. Taria put in the reps Harris. So my summer reading list book, it actually, I was about to lose some credit on Audible. And so this one was just suggested. So I looked at it as a sample at first, thought it would be a little too uh, smart for me. So this book is called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. And this guy goes into like at a, on a quantum level who we are and how we identify with who we are. Um, I like books that challenge the way I think because I believe that how I think ultimately produces the life that I live. And so this book is another one on that. But he talks about three different environmental things that kind of shape like our environment, um, time, and there was one other one. Um, there's three things that he kind of focuses on. One was time, trying to look at my notes. Uh, one was our environment. But he ultimately walks you through how you need to view these things and how when you change your mindset of them, they help you become a different person. So one quote he has is, many people focus on their outer physical world, environment, their bodies, and time. Um, and then he talks about how you can overcome them. And one thing he says is when feelings become the means of thinking, or if we cannot think greater than how we are, we can never change. And so I found that a lot of my coaching clients, when they come in and they want to know how we do things and, you know, what do I need to do to put in place? Sometimes we have to talk about their mindset. And sometimes we have to talk about how you're going to have to be um, stronger mentally in order to get through this business. Not always going to be, you know, butterflies and roses. And so this book kind of is walking me through, I'm only on chapter four now, but this book is walking me through how to be tougher and how to think better so that I can produce better results. I love it. And so how to break the habit of being yourself. Mm -hmm. Breaking the habit of being yourself. Breaking the habit of being yourself. Fantastic. And who, who's the author? This is Joe Disperza. Oh, Joe Dispenza. Dispenza. Mm -hmm. Joe Dispenza. Yeah, it's so funny. I'd never heard of Joe Dispenza. And now he's just all over my orbit for some reason. Um, I have a lot of mindset books. And so now they just keep sending me all these mindset authors <laughs> in my audible recommendations. That's awesome. If you could only pick one mindset book, like you're on a desert island, like, okay, this is going to help me get through the next, you know, 90 days of, of, of suffering of just eating coconuts. Mm -hmm. What, you know, what would you pick? It's a tough question, actually. It is a tough question because I pull from each one of them. None of them, what I say, would be like the it all for me. But I have like 15 that I've read within the last year. Okay. Let me, let me go to my Audible. All right. Well, while, while you're doing that, I love it when you call me Big Papa. Tate Litchfield, what's on your summer reading list? With this you, know, is a you got three young kids. I don't even know when you have time to read. Audible, baby. <laughs> a lot of time on the bike. Um, this is a relatively new book. Um, it's 10X is Easier Than 2X. And this is by Dan Sullivan and Benjamin Hardy. 
And I love this book for a number of reasons, but the thing that really attracted me was the title. And it's, uh, you know, obviously 10X is easier than 2X. How world-class entrepreneurs achieve more by doing less. Like that just sucked me in. I was like, oh, doing less, achieve more? Uh, talk to me like this is, this is right up my alleyway. So love the book. Fantastic read. Obviously, Dan Sullivan, um, he's another one of those top authors that I think a lot of us really enjoy. Uh, he's got a, an amazing collection of uh, other works that I would recommend as well. But basically, this book is a guide on the things you need to change today in the present to achieve exponential personal change in the future, which I really like. And, and it talks about how to do that and the strategies. And so um, while I was reading this, um, I came across one quote, and it's probably one of the better known quotes within this book. And it's the only way, only way to make your present better is by making your future bigger. And uh, that just sums it up for land investors, right? Like we're all about working hard today to change our future either tomorrow or three months from now or six months or 10 years from now, right? The goal is put in the work today, reap the rewards in the future. I love it. Highly recommend it. If you guys don't have it, download it, buy it, pick it up, share it with a friend. You're going to really enjoy this book. Yeah, I've, I've read it uh, and I really enjoyed it. I, my big takeaway from that book was to get to that next level, about 80% of what you do has to change. It, it's yep. really a book about courage in a way. Do you have the courage yeah. to make the to make that leap and um and it's hard in, in that sense, but it's easier than two x, which is incremental. Right. I mean, go big, right? Like you want big changes, you know, then then make big changes. Like if you want a big future, if you want things to get that much better, you're gonna you're gonna have to do some things that are gonna make you slightly uncomfortable. Right? Yeah, and the the introduction to that was phenomenal about Michelangelo. <laughs> Which I had yeah. I had no idea about either. Fantastic. I loved it. Uh, I love it. All right. Back to Cheria. The mindset uh, book on the desert island. I, I'm gonna have to go with atomic habit. That's all that's like been my all-time favorite book. That's the one I go back to and read. It used to be annually, but not not as much anymore. But I, I love James Clear. Yeah, he's he's so good. I just quoted his uh his newsletter the other day. Um, it's so good. And you know, that, that book is the best selling book of the like last five years is atomic habits. Uh, he just nailed it. So that that's, that's a bonus one. If you haven't read atomic habits, that's a bonus summer reading one. Mine is, uh, I think a, a mindset book as well, but it's really fun. It's a summer book as a, as a business book because it's so much fun to read or listen to, but I would definitely recommend the audible Steve Sims go for stupid. And if you, so Steve Sims is sort of this brilliant guy, but he doesn't look brilliant. He looks like, and we had him on the podcast and he's, he's, he looks like a bricklayer from London and you know, he's got tattoos and he's a biker and this crazy goatee. He does not look the, the part of a, you know, a world-class business guy and a, a guy that would really help billionaires get things done. And so go for stupid is this idea that um, what would you do if you didn't care, if you looked ridiculous doing it, right? Um, what would you achieve if you weren't afraid of being laughed at? And it's, it's a really great book to, of, of really about stop overthinking and just go for ridiculous, stupid goals and, and get out of your own way. Because at the end of the day, no one cares. We all think people are thinking about us. They're thinking about themselves. They don't care. They don't. Really? So um, and so, yeah, and, you know, for the, the one teenager listening to this, right? <laughs> They they're thinking about themselves more than they're thinking about you know that pimple on your nose. I guarantee it. No one cares. But uh, it's a really fun read. It's a really fun listen, and uh, and I think has a lot of really valuable lessons in there as well. So for my fun summer reading list, 
go for stupid. If you don't want to have fun and you just want a fun, uh, not fun fiction book that I'm reading, Brothers Karamazov, Fyodor Dostoevsky. Did I pronounce that right? Uh, I'm, I've got that on my Kindle right now. I'm reading it. I'm doing my Atomic Habits. I'm reading a little bit every day. It's a great book to put you to sleep. It is a really hard read. <laughs> Not a selling point, Mark. You know, but <laughs> it's, I mean, I, I'm still reading it. So I like people tell me this is a great Russian literature and worth getting to the end to. I'm just not there. I tried it. I tried it. And I did not make it. Yeah. There's, there's, there's that part of me that thinks, you know, there, there's so many books and life is so short. Like if you're not loving a book, why, why spend any more time? Like just go to the next book. Right. Which totally makes sense to me, but I just feel like I want to be a glutton for punishment on this one. And I just want to know why, why is this so great? Like there, I, I want to get to that part, but there are, there are well, let me know when you figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, at least that you did it. That's an yeah. accomplishment. So our tips of the week are basically embedded in the podcast. So there is no tip of the week. Hopefully you're not overwhelmed with our summer reading list. And if you're getting value from the podcast, let us know. Follow, rate, review the podcast. Send us a screenshot of that review. Support at thelangeek.com. And uh, it really helps. We really appreciate it. And as a thank you, I'll send you a signed copy of Dirt Rich. And hopefully one day a signed copy of Dirt Rich too. When that comes out, which is a whole other thing. All right. Are we good, Taria? We're good. I'm good. Landon? We are good. Technician? We're great. Big Papa? All good. All right. We ready to do this? One, two, three. Let, Let freedom, 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 freedom bring. 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 Nice. Nice. By the way, uh, last night we were watching Apple TV. It's like, I can't even remember the name of the show, but it was very disturbing with uh, the Spider-Man guy. Do you guys know what show I'm talking about? I, it's like it's like gritty. like It's like based in like the late 70s. And uh, I like, it's, it's disturbing. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is, Apple is really going into some disturbing material here. Yeah, they've had some, they've had some, you know, some really dark stuff, but um, <laughs> what's the one? Now I have to find it. Uh, there was a show that was, it was, uh, oh, I'm going to kill it. I don't want to do that. It was really good though. <laughs> I was so stuck into it. I'll find it. I'll tell you later. Yeah. It's that our next, our next podcast will be the summer watch list. Yeah. A few of those. By, by the way, I'm just curious if you could only have one streaming service of all of them out there, which is the one you would not let go of? Tate, I know you're struggling with it. I mean, it depends. Like, am I keeping the, like, for me, it's going to be Disney Plus, right? Like, I just got to keep the kiddos happy. Look, that makes, <laughs> look, that's a totally legit call. Disney like Plus. It's, there's nothing I really like on there, but look, I'm okay with silence at the end of the day. I don't need to watch TV. I had enough noise in my life. <laughs> All right. D- Disney Plus. Taria? Oh, I, I would maybe Netflix. Netflix? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Land, has Land, a wide range of stuff. Land is like, I'm not disagreeing. Yeah. Uh, no, we, we <laughs> do a lot of Netflix. We've been in like, what, suits? It's old stuff. Yeah. The old stuff. Yeah. <laughs> old stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's crazy. Eric, how about you? I don't know. We, the kids watch a lot of YouTube, but I mean, probably Hulu, we probably use the most. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for me, I just want to sort of lord all of you intellectually and be like, I don't, I don't watch TV. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I, I think. <laughs> 
I'm a big reader. None of us bought that. We're like, oh, I know. Yeah, like, yeah you're, 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 you're just talking about a show on Apple. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. whatever you say, uh, bud. I, I, I would say for me, I, you know, maybe, maybe Max. You know, those HBO series yeah. they are, are always pretty solid. But a close second would probably be Apple. Yeah, There's not that much it. on there, but what they have is always quality. Blackbird. Yeah. That was the name of it. Blackbird was great. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that. When they throw those kind of like shows at me, I get stuck. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, there's that book by Barry Schwartz called The Paradox of Choice. So, Mm -hmm. you know, too much choice is not great. So that's what I like about Apple. It's like, here's a few choices. You've got the whole spectrum of, of, of things to, to listen to and watch. And, uh, but there's not, you're not overwhelmed where like Netflix could be just fun of just, scrolling and then be like oh, i don't want it. i don't like it. no that sounds good that's me that's nice. yeah. yeah all day all, all day we watch I'll one spend about 30 minutes doing that yeah 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 exactly like that we set a timer. Every trailer oh, <laughs> we set a timer it's like you got 10 minutes to pick a show otherwise i like not. that i like that yeah i yeah i feel like that all the time like i just watch a few trailers like ah none of it none of it nothing good <laughs> None of it's hitting me right. Um, I kind of feel like that with Yelp too, but like restaurants. Like, ah, yeah. I don't know. Then, it's then a tough one. yeah, always end up settling for Thai. All right. Th- thanks, everybody. See you. See you guys. See ya. Thanks for listening to the Art of Passive Income podcast. Are you ready to learn how you can start building a passive income without renters, rehabs, renovations, or rodents? Schedule a free consultation at thelandgeek.com forward slash training. Let freedom ring.